would you do against Galad? Would you counter punch? Let, um, let him try to initiate and then attack. I'd try and sit. Th that heal issue would be a de unfortunately would definitely be a factor in how I approach this match because going on Glad's previous. He looks run. like he's thriving on the court right now, Bomley. Yeah, he's going for punch for punch there. That that was a little heavy, that counter drop there. A little high on it. Oh, it's oh. a good rally. Powerful. Explosive stuff between these two. Probably the best exchange that we've seen. Oh, great wow. movement. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a quick exchange. He did get stuck. I'm not sure where Gawad can go here. Let's have a yeah, look from this angle. We're always looking for the line, aren't we? And that Basically, line. that you need to ask yourself is, can Gawad get up and round? Would you expect him to? Or is the line, the access right through Bomley? As he likes to do. It's good, it's a really good clinical attack from Gawad. It was the Egyptian one two. Certainly snuck in the back door and stolen this first game from Bommelé. I mean, that's the clinical squash from Gawad. Again, mixing the pace up, trying to break the rhythm of Bommelé. React to this, because it was a very similar situation the first he picked up Guad, I thought he Guad had kind of settled. Bommelé had a really good reaction. Oh. So quick Flip off that team. That's a reach on him. He had no right taking those two balls in short, and that one especially. I mean, yeah. But then, and then look at his follow-up. He's right back up there. Oh, he stayed up there. Oh, all the corners of the court. Bit of a diagonal court spread <laughs> back and forward. Oh, this is, oh this is good. Go on, go get that ball. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh. Brilliant squash. That's a great way to finish the game. Pure entertainment here in Chicago. How fast is that? Brilliant. It's well played by Gawad. Yeah, brilliant. There's no recovering for that. Not when you've moved out at the pace that Bommelé has. Just left stranded on his heels. It's this cross court. Right, yeah. The yeah. Or, or you, if you're going to yeah. go in carefully with the ball sitting up, then you've got to get Gawad so far out of the way and then take him in. So you get to manoeuvre him out of position. But you can't, you can't give Gawad time and space. For that. True, absolutely. Oh, that's good. Well, that was executed well. Yeah, and he had him on the run as well, yeah. so it's a perfect time. He took it early. 
no time for Gawa to recover, and he took him very positively. again the lift and the reach I mean, oh, oh it's a shame so unfortunate. what a game that was brilliant from both players you can see how hard they've had to work well played Sebastian Bombele all credit to him Gawad certainly tested physically he held up Such an entertaining match between these two, really appreciated by the crowd. Well, that was a tough three love. Steady start to this first game. Robin well within striking distance at 4 all. That's a really nice shot. Good attacking shots from Lobin. Not a bad That's finish from Tazuki, but he's not looking happy on there. The And then another error from Dazuki. That's a great shot. That is a really good shot from Lobin. Clever. He let the ball drop right down and then volleyed it low. But it was enough to send Dazuki completely the wrong way. Hitting that dipping ball. from Lobin at the front of the court. Didn't quite get as low as he needed to on that shot. Sounds like a string score. Yeah. Suki just checking his racket, he might have cracked it. Certainly a strange noise when he connected with one of those shots previously. And out 5-2. Shown a lot of good strength on that forehand volley, whether he's going straight or cross court. Three points, but... It's a, it's a worrying run of points against him here for Dazuki. That <laughs> is a ridiculous shot if he actually meant to tickle it into the sidewall. I don't know if he meant to tickle it into the sidewall, but... I'd have been amazing if he had been. Well, that's a stroke. Stroke to Dazuki. Player review. Going for a review, but I can't see what else this is going to be, if I'm honest. Well, 
well. The referee taking plenty of time to look at this one. Well, it's remained as a stroke. So quite a few looks at that. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's a very important point with it being game ball, but say not so old. But pre-injury, very, very confident forehand volley from him. Starting to move a little bit more freely as well. A bit more confidence in his body. That's a nice shot. Yeah, it's a good counter from Greg Lobben. And out, one, two. Ah, oh, cheeky. What a shot. Oh, it's unbelievable improvisation. <laughs> this is just pure skill. Look at that. <laughs> that was impressive. Seven match balls here for Dasuki. Oh, oh, so there he is. So Dasuki closes out. 3-1 victory over Greg Lobben after losing that first game. Just got stronger and stronger for his Dasuki and the confidence really showed in the back end of that fourth game particularly. 44 minutes for the number seven seat, testing out that body of his. Everything looking in decent order. So you feel that Dasuki will improve from round to round now. He's now down at courtside with Michael. I think we'll start with that. There's not many of the Pakistani players that aren't quick. Oh. <laughs> you enjoyed that one. Did. Crowd definitely excited by it. Shot. Yeah, but Terrific that was the shot. first time in that rally that he got his racket yeah, yeah. prepared on the forehand. In, in oh, really focused out there. Good concentration. Fast court this one, Ashling. Very fast front wall. Yeah, a, f a fast front wall and then somewhat slow in the back, the players have been saying. That's a absolute gimme. Only if he's back home, though. That's fair. It can't that. beat a bit of New Zealand. Right? Oh, easy. Oh, he oh, guessed it again. It Shut out there. Paul Cole Seven just acknowledging five. being a gentleman. The fact that Paul Cole Seven is just continuously people. holding and cross-courting out of the front right. He's not going straight, so he could actually cover the... Well, it's out of court. So, second game. Well, you've got to feel for Aslam a bit because he's some of the squash that's coming out of the Pakistani's racket is really, really terrific. Just a few unforced errors and a bit of impatience. It's 20 minutes we've had so far. And Paul Cole leads two games to love. But another more serious <laughs> <laughs> Just going back to the bananas because no, my dad, my we dad always then. eats a lot of bananas, and when he was training, we he used to have the banana sandwiches at lunchtime because it was easy to digest. Put a bit of That's honey exact. in there, a bit of honey. I knew I liked your dad. A bit of honey, banana, That's brown bread. Pecan. I've been known to put a pecan. No, that's silly there from Aslam. Yeah. You know that shot worked very well for him in the second game. <laughs> Bit of a shame because I thought there'd be a bit more to come from. Oh, a bit more to come from the Pakistani number one in this third. 
Well, there he's read it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, my goodness oh. me. Oh, God, he's got over the, the try line. Slide. The try's been disallowed. See it there. He's, got, he's trying. He's trying. Goodness gracious me. <laughs> More from this uh, Pakistani in the third game. And that's. He looks like he's really hit a wall and very happy to Let do the fist pump. Certainly a very talented player, Taya Baslam. Paul Cole, though, just under 30 minutes. A nice run out for him, impressed by Cole. Here comes Mike with his microphone. Very clean hitting mm. from Yip. Nice, fast tempo, Ashley. Baggy points into the corner where oh. he wanted. He didn't have to do as much as I thought he would have in this first game against Yip. No, I agree with you as well. I felt it would be a bit more of a uncertain tussle. But Shabagi's moved really nicely, yeah. and that's good pressure. And that's what Yip's able to do there. Especially. Again, the. Chap, is he sprinkling salt on somebody's head? It's very strange. Really stepping up. It's a very good Warm. situation. Lovely pace variation. No land. Yeah, there was a line there to the left of Shobagi. So there's a review from angle. Yip. He's put we his hand up. Yip on the no land decision. It's a very, very good decision. I think this is going to be upheld. Ball's way over to the left. Shabagi cleared. No, nah, it's a good decision. Yeah. If this gets overturned, I don't... Yep. So no surprise there. So no the no-let upheld. Mohamed El Shabagi takes the first game. I definitely feel if he gets some some good, consistent play in these next few events, yep, he's definitely a, a top 20 in the world player. And now he's number one in Hong Kong HK because the retiring of Leo Ao. So he has that mantle too. So both the Ao's Both Ao's are out. Both Ao and Ao, of course. A prominent, one of the best Hong Kong female players. Lovely feathering of the ball there from El Shibagi. Chocolate feathering. That was, wasn't it? A bit of a feather there too. Yeah. Oh, I mean, took oh, that performance by the beast of Alexandria. Contained, varied, and oh, really, oh. really, really confident. Sublime. The number two seed. It's a bit of a lesson. And it well is. done for getting that sentence out, might I say, to me. Thank you, Ashley. I always appreciate your praise. I think that the audience really want to get behind you. Yeah, but it's just a slightly delayed, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's one person. Shabagi just wanting that footing secured. We've seen this happen a few times in this match with the sweat and the flail. Which balls, Ashling? You seem speechless. Uh, well, just out of there's a slight, slight bit of disappointment. Yeah. Well, very impressive performance there from the Beast of Alexandria. Mm -hmm. Sending out a message, that's for sure. Yeah. Very impressive. 25 minutes of real quality, good variation of focus, and, and, a, and a terrifically attacking tee position.